The rallies that took place in Chicago and other cities were in support of mass demonstrations in Sudan on Sunday, which opposition leaders called a millions march. Amin Al Said, a Sudanese student who has lived in the U.S. for 19 years, helped organize the Chicago protest. We're standing with our brothers and sisters in Sudan right now who are gathering for a million man march um, to once again stand up against an opp oppressive and brutal military regime that's been in power for over 30 years. We want the world to know that what's happening in Sudan cannot go unnoticed. People are dying. Uh, people are giving up their lives for basic human rights and basic freedoms. Sunday marked the 30-year anniversary of a military coup in Sudan that ended democratic rule and brought dictator Omar al-Bashir to power. Bashir's regime was accused of corruption and human rights abuses, including an alleged genocide in the country's Darfur region. Bashir's military ousted him in April after mass protests, but the generals refused to hand power to a civilian government. In Chicago, there were calls for the global community to help Sudan's protesters achieve their demands. We're seeing exactly what happened in Darfur is happening now in Khartoum and for the entire country, uh, where people are getting murdered, raped, um, and there is there's no justice. So all we're trying to do is bring attention to that, and we're hoping that we'll have more people supporting us. Um, the international community, uh, whether it's the UN, the US, the EU, um, really any any attention that we can get so we can help the people of Sudan is what we're looking for. International support for the Sudan demonstrations has been organized online with the hashtag blue for Sudan, encouraging people to wear blue to show solidarity with Sudan's protesters. In Chicago, some non-Sudanese people joined the rally. People are being shot down and it's horrible. And you, one person, one email, one phone call can do anything. Call your senators, email your senators, Follow the hashtags on all of social media, anything blue for Sudan. With support growing around the world, efforts to return Sudan to civilian rule are far from over. Jason Patinkin for VOA News, Chicago.